Hello everybody, Nick Grimshaw here from beautiful summer morning and welcome to this beautiful morning in Panama in the city of David and with the sun shining and birds singing it is a beautiful day with a nice breeze to keep uh, the heat away and today we're going to focus on another aspect of of keeping your gratitude practice fresh. Now we've talked about four other methods which are available on my YouTube channel. What I want to talk to you today about is make it outstanding. So, or make it stand out, make it outstanding. And the way to do this is to approach your journaling in a slightly different way. So. Normally, what people do is they get a book and they write each day, usually with a black pen, what they're grateful for. And that is part of their gratitude practice. And we're talking about all different ways to keep it fresh. Because if you just do the black and white thing between the lines every day, it gets pretty rote after a while. So what I would like, one of my really big things about journaling, any type of journaling, is that you use blank paper. This is a liberation all by itself. It frees you from the constraints of the lines on the page and allows you to do whatever you want on that page. And that's an important first step in making it outstanding or making it stand out. So the first one is color. Use color. I have like <laughs> color, color, pens, pencils, you name it. I've got it there for color. So use color. Color is important. It breaks up this monotone look to your journal by using, and I use different colors. So if I'm doing a list of things I'm grateful for, I'll use a different color for each one. And this helps make them stand out. The second thing to do is sketching, emojis, using those in your gratitude practice. So when you're talking about something you're grateful for, include a little emoji or a little diagram or a little sketch of what it is you're grateful for. And you can break up the sentence with these little sketches. And because you're not constrained by lines, you can make your gratitude um, sentence bigger and then give you space to put all these different emojis and pictures and picturegrams and sketches in there. Now, you don't have to be an artist to do this. It's not necessary. It's your gratitude journal and it's your personal record of what you're grateful for and it's a practice that is inculcating in you this overwhelming sense of gratitude for everything that is in your life. So, color and sketch. The other one is um, scrapbook. So treat it like you have the opportunity to scrapbook. So have a glue stick out and use some old magazines or whatever you have around to cut out, add photos. I've even used the um, boarding pass from my uh, airline flight. Uh, this is gra grateful for the trip, for the opportunity to travel, for the opportunity of arriving safely, for all the people who took care of me. That is a symbol of that gratitude. And so you include that. And, and now you're beginning to see a different kind of journal emerging from your work. The other idea I suggest you try every once in a while, because let, let me be clear that I'm not expecting you to do all of this every day, but that you use some of those things that I've outlined in the previous four uh, videos and in this one to really keep everything fresh and new and in a new unit of time. And that is to do a mind map of gratitude. So you might take a subject about gratitude, maybe hard times gratitude or something, and then mind map that out and follow all the little roots and uh, 
um, tributaries of your gratitude. This makes for quite a stunning page when you're done and it really makes your gratitude practice stand out so that when you're leafing through your gratitude journal you're getting a totally different picture. You're not seeing this black on white with lines. And it's really important that that helps keep everything fresh, keeps what you're, you're doing fresh. And you can circle and underline and it's about being totally creative, allowing that creative spirit within you to flow free on the page. And remember, it doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to be ready to show somebody else. It's your gratitude journal. And the more you do to make it stand out, the better. Okay, that's it for today. Make it outstanding, make it stand out. See you soon, dream big, live inspired, and be grateful. Thank you. Hi, Nick Grimshaw here, and welcome to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Doing those things really help us track better with YouTube. And if you're interested, click the notification button for notification when we upload a new video. Thank you so much for doing that. Have a good day.